interpersonal relationships are complex, but the bond is often even more challenging to maintain for family members. The dynamics that lead to estrangement can vary vastly. Still, in most cases, it boils down to neglect or favoritism, traumatic experiences such as abuse or death, disagreement between extended families, disrespected in laws, money issues, and differing ideologies. According to the author, these six key issues are the primary motivators of family estrangement. Losing contact with your family can be a tremendous blow to your sense of self and make you question how much you're worth. A new study in social cognitive and effective neuroscience found that people who are rejected after making an effort to connect with their loved ones are at risk of developing symptoms of depression, including anxiety and irritability. Estrangement is more than a breakup, and it's the death of a relationship. It's even harder to bear than the death of a loved one since usually, in that case, you can choose to shut some painful memories away to cope with your loss. But for an estranged relationship, you would constantly be reminded of the pains caused by that family member. In some cases, you may be forced to relocate or do strange things to distance yourself from them. Estrangement can also expand towards other family members, forcing them to pick sides to defend their point of view of the situation. Families are complicated, but they don't have to be. Family estrangements can be resolved with the right approach. When adult children and their parents are on good terms, there is a better chance of family members growing old together, enjoying each other's company, and learning more about themselves and each other. The world is dangerous, and many things can happen out there, so families should stay close. Acknowledging the bigger picture can help you go deeper into the problem and find a solution that works for everyone. When people can see their place in the conflict, they can take ownership of it and make changes that move us toward resolution. By underlying the problem, you can resolve the issues. Just imagine having to deal with an abusive aunt in your own home. You can't do anything about it. She controls you, manipulates you, and prevents you from enjoying life the way you want to. And one day, in sheer frustration, you walk out in a fit of anger. But now imagine that instead of walking away, she sits down for a minute or two and tries to understand why the nephew was hurt, she discovers she was wrong and apologizes. When in a conflict, we often defend our position, blaming the other person for the confrontation. This can make us feel comfortable in the short run but prevents us from seeing things from their perspective.